think hybrid and the name of Toyota will come on the top of your mind. The company has been selling the Camry executive sedan in India for more than 15 years now and the car is known for its rear seat comfort. But now, Toyota has launched the 8th generation of Camry with the 4th generation hybrid electric system based on the Toyota new global architecture that is said to be more driver focused, safe and frugal. Let's know more about it. Toyota is currently the largest car maker in the world with over 10 million annual sales thanks to the cars like Camry. Toyota has sold more than 19 million Camrys till date and has been offering the sedan in India since 2002. However, these are the most exciting days for the Camry as the new 8th generation car can compete against the best of the German vehicles as far as design is concerned. From the new bold front grille to the redesigned 18-inch alloys and prominent bonnet creases, the Camry looked its best in the Attitude black paint. However, the highlight of the Camry for us is the stretch look. The Camry is only 15mm shy of 4.9m and has a wheelbase of 2.8m. These numbers make the Camry at par with cars like BMW 5 Series and Audi A6. While exteriors of the Camry are definitely eye-catching, Toyota has made sure the cabin is best in the segment. And when we talk about the Camry, we have to start with the rear seats first. While Toyota's rear seat comfort is well known, they have enhanced it furthermore thanks to these comfortable seats, loads of space and this touchscreen pad here. The touch controls on the armrest are quite intuitive to operate and can be used to recline the rear seats, listen to your favorite music and control the rear sunshade. The rear seat itself is very comfortable and the controlled NVH level means you can doze off without much hassle during the long drive. Also, the power buttons for the front passenger seat are made accessible for the rear passengers for easy operation, a well thought move. Moving to the front, the dashboard gets a completely new design that Toyota calls a Y dashboard and looks quite unique. Rather than adding a wood trim to the cabin, which most of the manufacturers do, Toyota has added the onyx garnish with metallic texture to enhance the luxury. The rest of the cabin gets a beige leather upholstery with few piano black elements. In terms of the features, the Camry gets a tilt and slide moonroof, 3-zone AC, 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system with 9-speaker JBL system, a large HUD display, front ventilated seats, and wireless smartphone charger among others. The analog digital combination instrument console reads a variety of information too. Where the Toyota Camry lacks, however, is the practicality. While the cabin is enormous, there are not enough spaces to keep your stuff in. The bottle holders in the doors are also not big enough. The boot, however, is a different ballgame altogether. Toyota has managed to scoop out additional spaces inside the boot, which is already deep and wide. While Toyota has retained the 2.5-litre engine in the new Camry, they have now introduced the 4th generation hybrid electric system, which delivers a mileage of 23.27 km to a litre, a good 20% increase from the previous model. But it's not only the mileage but also about the way Toyota has enhanced the driving dynamics to the new Camry, all thanks to the Toyota new global architecture. You also get a commanding view of the road ahead thanks to the scooped out bonnet lines and rear line ORVMs. The combined output of the Toyota Camry stands at 218 PS and Toyota has added a nickel metal hydride battery to the mix. You can opt for an EV mode for a pure electric drive to a certain speed. There are also additional three modes to choose from and you will feel a visible difference every time you change a drive mode. The initial acceleration is a bit of dud and there's a lot of noise while pushing the car. But that's the only negative we could find in the new Camry. Everything else is perfect to say the least. The steering is nice to hold and provides good feedback while the suspension is tuned in a way to give you superior ride quality. The new Camry does not shy away from the highest levels of safety and gets 9 SRS airbags, vehicle stability control, tire pressure monitoring system, brake hold function and ABS with EBT. That being said, the price tag of Rs 36 lakh is still a big negative for Camry in a market like India where anything above 35 lakh is considered a luxury car and that is a territory of the German Big 3. Hybrids are the future of automobiles and Toyota knows it very well. The new Camry is not just another hybrid car, but it offers almost everything that a luxury car can. 
it is good looking, it is comfortable, it is robust, it is efficient and now more driver focused too.